Hello again, YouTube. It's Skylar. Welcome back to my face. Today is actually my 100th video since I've started this channel, which is, wow, I can't believe we've made it to 100 videos already. That's amazing. Especially because I just started, like, what, back in March? Yeah, that's a lot of videos. So, I have some good news. I have gone as, about as far as I can with my laser hair treatments, and now I'm going to start moving on to electrolysis. Now, if you haven't watched my previous videos on laser hair treatments, you might want to go back and watch those. Um, laser hair treatment is very, very effective on lighter skin with darker hair. However, as the treatments progress, the hair itself becomes thinner and lighter, making the treatments themselves less effective, in which this situation, uh, electrolysis becomes a viable option. Now, electrolysis is different than laser hair removal, because with laser hair removal, it's basically soldering the growth stage of the, of the hair follicle bulb itself, and once that falls out, it doesn't grow back. But if it can't penetrate that hair shaft because the color isn't attracting enough heat energy, then it's not going to do anything really. Whereas electrolysis, they go in hair by hair, and I believe they insert a needle into the hair shaft and basically electrocute it and then remove the hair with tweezers or whatever conventional thing they use. I don't know because I haven't done it yet. But this is effective for people that have very light, fine hair and people that uh, don't really see uh, laser hair treatment being effective anymore. So that's where I'm going to start heading to now because I feel like I've exhausted as much as I can on laser treatments. I've, you know, I've obviously been doing my face, my arms, my hands, my legs, you know, chest. That one was easy though because the hormones actually really affect chest hair for male to female. So that kind of goes away naturally on its own, but you know, laser hair treatment kind of expedites that process. So I don't really, don't really have anything going on there, but yeah, it is just, this is kind of like the cleanup phase of my laser treatment where it's basically just getting rid of any rogue hairs, especially on my face. You know, I just want 100% gone, especially because, you know, it'd be pretty nice. I mean, even if I didn't wear makeup now because I've had seven treatments on my face so far, like the, you can't really tell. But again, you know, as the day gets longer and the hair starts to grow again, there's little tiny patches. It would just be nice to reach a point where I didn't feel like I had to wear makeup before I went out and started the day. So that would be really enjoyable and obviously help with the dysphoria. So the differences between pricing as far as the laser treatments go and the electrolysis is the laser treatments are basically a flat rate based on area. So obviously the larger the area that's being performed on, is proportional to the cost. Whereas with electrolysis, it's based on an hourly rate, which because they go hair by hair, they're only gonna charge you based on the time that it takes them to clear as much in that space as they need to. So if it takes 15 minutes, if it takes a half hour, if it takes an hour, the price range will change depending on the amount of time that's allocated. So it's a little bit different, but it is actually good because for someone like me that's pretty much exhausted all of my financial resources and my transition so far, not that I'm saying I'm broke or anything, but you know, even if I only had to spend the 15 minutes, you know, it's at least progress. It's going in the right direction. So I don't feel like I'm just dropping hundreds of dollars at a time. You know, it could just be like $30 this week, you know, $30 the next week instead of dropping like $400 one treatment for laser hair. You know, and then obviously over time, you know, because electrolysis 
and I'm not saying I know this for sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm guessing that electrolysis is more effective with what they do, given that they actually electrocute the hair shaft and remove the hair individually, but it takes longer. So, but the result afterwards, if you do the electrolysis, I believe, I don't quote me on this, but once they once they do the treatment on that hair shaft, it's permanently gone forever. It's not going to come back lighter or finer or, you know, whereas laser treatment, sometimes even if the hair follicle dies off, uh, a new hair follicle will replace it, albeit way weaker. So, but yeah, that's all that. Um, and I have 19 more days till I go to my consultation in Reno for my orchiectomy procedure. If you don't know what that is, I really recommend going back and watching that video. I don't really like repeating myself every single video. I do have a GoFundMe account. You can find the link in that video as well. And yeah, so, or no, no, I'm sorry. The GoFundMe is for my augmentations procedure, not the orchiectomy. But you can find the augmentation GoFundMe link in that. Just trying to clarify so I don't have to review that later. Um, but yeah, uh, everything's starting to go smoothly. I've you know, just been trying to hunker down financially. I've you know, cut out the, the uh, luxuries, the Netflix, you know, going out to eat. Which, you know, this doesn't sound like that much of a savings, but the more I can get down my debt, the sooner that I can save up for my other procedures. And, you know, hopefully I'm being optimistic here, but if everything goes the way I want it to, I'll be able to pay down my debts enough this year so that by next year I've already gotten my orchiectomy and my augmentation surgery. And at that point, next year I will be saving up for my FFS facial feminization surgery which is where they contour your face and jawline as well as your brow bone and you know a couple other little things and that one is the big ticket item because <clears throat> I've seen pricing range between anywhere between 35,000 and 65,000 and it's all out of pocket unfortunately because it is still considered a cosmetic procedure Despite that, like over 90% of people that get it are male to female. So, but you know, that's just the politics of our time. So, I'm not going to cry over it. I'm just going to work towards that goal even harder. So, and with that said, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my videos for more amazing content. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.